Hi there. This is once again Jacob John and today with me is Mrs. Lakshmi. Of course, we all are familiar with Lakshmi ma'am. She's an asset of be good. So today we are going to present an OET role play card. Of course, everybody knows about OET role play, but today's role play card is going to be a little bit of a difference. So let's keep watching. Good morning, Mrs. Lakshmi. Good morning. Uh, this is Nurse Jacob over here, and I suppose you have accompanied your daughter Ganga. Is it correct? Yeah, you're right. All right, fine. She's seven years of age, and uh, I'm sure that uh, she's totally fine doing right now after the doctor has seen her. No, uh, she's not fine. Uh, well, I can totally understand your concern right now as a mother. Um, uh, by the way, let me just ask you, where is she? Ah, um, uh, she is there with her father. All right, fine. No issues at all. The doctor has uh, seen her, and after that, uh, he has just. given me the records there is a little bit of a procedure that has to be conducted it's it's nothing but a throat swab collection um let me just ask you a couple of questions and i'm sure that you're going to cooperate with me if that's not much uh, too much for me to okay, ask okay nurse i know that's a very small procedure for you but it matters a lot to me i can totally understand you concern right now but it doesn't mean that uh, it is going to be get delayed or it's not nothing it's, it's, it's totally nothing first of all i want you to please uh, cooperate with me and i want to get a little bit of an idea a little bit of question answers from your side and okay. i hope you can do it okay me. carry sure. on thank you so much uh, let me just ask you uh how long has she been experiencing some sort of a throat irritation or like uh, some sort of a cough or like a mild rate fever could you please just give me a little bit okay. of details regarding that okay okay see this episode started 4 days back right. she is having sore throat with her mm -hmm. cough which is persistent right. yes. which worsens at night yes, and she's running on her. fever her fever yes. never breaks. breaks but my biggest right. problem is mm -hmm. she is having recurrent thought and fictions in the last right. few months it's happening all the time oh, well, and you're can, so fed up with yes, this i can totally go through emotional setting right now but let me just ask you one more thing i first of all i want you to calm down um i, I hope you can follow me right yeah. i want you to calm down parental concern is always necessary i can totally understand what you're going through right now what is there in your mind but please uh, trust me she's going to be in safe hands it's not at all an issue okay. let me just ask you would you like to have uh, some sort of a beverage perhaps a, a cup of hot tea no, or coffee no no i'm happy but <laughs> I just want to get over with this. It's right, too fine. overwhelming. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. I can totally go through what you're having in your mind right now. Let me just ask you a couple of questions. Could you please just tell me is this the first time that she is succumbing to some sort of a throat swab collection? Oh no. Okay. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. The GP had asked me to do this last time. All right. But I'm so afraid of it. I don't want my daughter to experience a trauma. All right i can i can totally uh, go through what you're having in your mind right now please uh, do not take it personally and do not take it in such a way that it is going to increase your anxiety let me just tell you throat swab collection is uh, a little bit of an easy procedure and mm -hmm. if the particular patient is cooperating well it's just in a matter of minutes and this would be over let me uh, do you have any doubts regarding the throat swab collection okay let me ask you this my daughter is just 7 years all right she's running on a fever right. she has a sore throat mm -hmm. she coughs a lot mm -hmm. and in between you're going to stick in something into her throat what if she coughs or vomits and damages her throat what if she okay. bleeds and All I don't right. know. All right, please, please, please don't get so much tense. Let me just explain to you once again the procedure. Of course, throat swab collection is usually carried out for those individuals who are having recurrent throat infections and as you said right now, cough and a lot of phlegm collection. I suppose you understood the meaning of phlegm, right? Yeah. Lot of mucus collection. I know. All right. And apart from that, the fever that you have mentioned is not that much of a concern. I know, as a mother, it might be a concern for you. But from my side, when I checked her fever, it was totally a mild grade fever, just because she was having an irritation on her throat. So I'll be making her comfortable, uh, sitting in a position, or maybe like if she wants to recline, that'll be great. Don't worry. I'll be keeping my Would left you hand. Would you allow me to be with my daughter? Definitely. definitely you don't have to be having a slight of a concern okay. regarding that particular aspect you will be there by her side in fact i want you to be there present physically by her side and after that i'll be asking her to recline on the bed and i'll keep my left hand under her head and i'm just asking her to tilt her head a little bit back with her my wide open mouth you know her my mouth should be a little bit wide open perhaps just in case if she's not able to understand my instructions i want you to instruct her 
right in front of me. That's the main reason that I'm telling you this okay, right now. Okay, okay. And then I'll be taking a sterile Q-tip. It's just like a Q-tip, but a little bit a lengthy one. Mm -hmm. It's a sterile one and it's not at all infected. Do not worry about that. And I'll be wearing a gloves as well. Mm -hmm. And I'll be just taking that Q-tip. I'll be introducing it in one stroke into her mouth. I'll be taking a little bit of a specimen, rotating from the sides of her throat. And after okay. that, I'll be just taking back, placing it in the container mm -hmm. and sending it for the lab after writing all the details. Uh, let me just ask you, before uh, coming to this particular outpatient clinic or seeing the doctor, mm -hmm. has she used any sort of a mouthwash? Could you please just tell me a little bit detail regarding that? Because uh, if a mouthwash has been introduced into her mouth, we cannot get a correct strain of the microorganism that is actually causing this particular sore throat as well as the throat infection. Okay, we routinely use mouthwash, uh, but not today. Not this morning, because she's coughing really nice. a lot. Yes, that's really nice. Because if you had used the mouthwash, it would be really difficult, as I explained to you a little bit earlier. <sighs> but please do not worry about that. As soon as the procedure is over, and if she's having a little bit of a throat irritation, I'll be providing you with uh, a little bit of a saline solution or perhaps a mouthwash. And not okay, let me that. ask you this. Yes, please. How long is it going to take for the results? Well, uh, I, I actually want to give the results as soon as possible, because I can see that you're a little bit anxious and apart from that your daughter is a little bit worn out but please do not worry I'll try maximum from my side as well as I'll uh, inform the laboratory to give the results as soon as possible but I cannot just give you a time frame right now mm -hmm. this is an outpatient clinic and apart okay. from that we ha don't have too many cases mm -hmm. and whatever cases we do have we have to spend a little bit of a time for that and if it's a referral one we have to inform it to the doctor okay. to take the prompt action and uh, there is a better side for this I can uh, see in this particular record that you have Having your, that you have provided your phone number and that to your cell phone number. Okay. Once you have given the specimen of your daughter, you can just go back, run some errands, go along with the chores and all at once when the results are ready, I'll make it 100% sure that I'll be calling you and informing you that the results are ready okay. and you can, you can take the results as well as you can book a follow-up appointment or if the doctor is available, you can have a look at the doctor as well. You can just talk to him but about nurse, the condition. I have yes. this problem. Okay. Actually, why my daughter requires all these things? Why? And what is going to be the consequence of this? Well, um, Mrs. Lakshmi, I want you to uh, cooperate with me right now once again because your daughter is having some sort of an infection that is coming again and again. It's called as recurrent infection. And what exactly is the causative organism? But what is causing is, is what we all are after. And why? Um, perhaps there are so many reasons. First of all, climatic exposure. Now the climate is getting Why a little bit... Why won't you give uh, me a direct answer? You're giving me a lot of things. I know that. I can totally understand what you're having in your mind right now. You're totally getting confused. But uh, I, I would say that I'm not the right person to tell you the results are right now. Why? Because after the doctor sees you, that will be much better. Because if I'm going to tell you the results right now, you might believe it. That is the result. The doctor might have to speak more more than this perhaps he might prescribe some sort of an antibiotics for you maybe for three days maybe for uh, seven days or maybe for five days and you have to religiously give it to your daughter uh, of okay. course i can understand your daughter is able to follow the instructions as well yeah right? she is intelligent enough yes, okay yes, yes. so let me ask you this final thing do mm -hmm. i have to sign any forms well of course mm -hmm. i'm so glad that you asked all by yourself and i'm really uh, happy that you're a responsible parent just before conducting this small procedure even though it's totally non-invasive that means it doesn't include any sort of a pain other than anxiety you have to sign a consent form and that was the main reason that i've explained each and every situation for you and i'm really glad that you came up with it okay. um, could please just wait for five minutes i'll be just going back to the nurse's station i'll be getting this particular consent form and signature from the doctor and then i'll be asking you to sign over there so you can attach it with your daughter's file okay. will that be fine yeah anyway if my daughter has to undergo this yes, she has whatever to. it is let's let it happen i'm so glad that you uh, like agreed to it thank you so much mrs lakshmi i'm really happy for you and i'm hoping the best for your daughter that no nothing severe will be uh, happening to her even i'm hoping for the same All right then uh, shall i go and fetch the consent form yeah. thank you so much please kindly wait over here while i go and get the consent form okay 
All right, so this was a role play conducted by me as well as uh, Lakshmi ma'am over here. It's about an anxious mother whose daughter is succumbed to get some sort of a throat swab collection. I hope this role play was providing some sort of an insight for you guys. Anyhow, till next role play time, of course, right? Stay tuned and uh, be waiting for us. And moreover, I want to tell you if you have some sort of a disease condition as a suggestion, please write it down in the comment box so that we can provide you with a wonderful role play card for analysis how you are supposed supposed to talk to a particular person in the hospital setting till then bye bye and take care bye bye